Well, a very good morning to you. If you've just tuned in to us, it is eight o'clock here on Morning Live. On this Friday morning, the body of the IFP founder and President Emeritus Prince Mangasutu Butelezi will be taken to his hometown, Mahlabatini, in northern KwaZulu-Natal today, ahead of his funeral tomorrow. Butelezi died last weekend at the age of 95. President Cyril Ramaphosa has accorded him a special official funeral, Category 1. Now, various routes will be affected to make way for the motorcade accompanying the departed leader, who was also a prime minister of the Amazulu nation. Uh, Zulu regiments, also known as Amabuto, will be part of the convoy. According to Zulu custom, rituals are expected to be performed by senior elders of the Butelezi family at his home tonight. Meanwhile, Police Minister Becky Tele conducted a site visit to the Mangasutu Butelezi Regional Sports Complex, where he met with senior leaders of the IFP, provincial government, and the SANDF. President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver the eulogy at the funeral of the IFP founder and Prince Emeritus, Prince Mangasutu, President Emeritus, Prince Mangasutu Butelezi tomorrow. Butelezi's body will be taken to his hometown, Mahlabatini, in northern KwaZulu-Natal today. He died at the weekend aged 95. So, as we know, Ramaphosa accorded Butelezi a Category 1 special official funeral. Our reporter Ayanda Mflongo is standing by to give us some details in the lead up to the funeral. Ayanda, good morning to you. So, obviously, there's a lot that needs to take place today, and uh, that's what you're going to be witnessing, and so are our viewers here on SABC News. Perhaps you can talk to us already what's been going on. Yeah, very good morning to you, Leanne. It's a Ken and good morning to our viewers at home. Yes, certainly, Leanne, a lot that's going to be going on um, here today. It is an important uh, day, Leanne, as you said there in your introduction ahead of the uh, funeral that will take place uh, tomorrow. So we are coming uh, to you from Ulundi, just outside, and let me quickly just uh, step out of shot, just outside the Kebole to uh, funeral uh, parlor. And this is where the body of um, Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi has been kept. Uh, since uh, sat since uh, Saturday and uh, today of course is the important day where his body in accordance to um, Amazulu uh, tradition and customs will be taken uh, from the uh, mortuary and he will be making um, that uh, journey home. You also mentioned importantly there uh, Liane as well in your introduction that um, Amabu to uh, the, the Amazulu regiments are going to be playing a very critical role uh, here today for what we understand from the family and the briefing that we got from the leaders of the IFP um was that uh, today and we understand that uh, the body is going to be taken Leanne around uh, midday today we have not yet been given an exact time and according uh, to culture because he was the head of the house um, and uh, because of um, his uh, status as the traditional prime minister the body has to reach the home before the sun sets so around midday today uh, members of the um, Butelezi family of course uh, that he he'd be led by his son Zuzifa and Tutugo Butelezi will um, arrive here at the funeral parlor and of course um, Amabuto um, will then receive the uh, body. Amabuto will then follow the cortege and will accompany uh, Prince Mangosutu's body. Now because the end it's quite a long distance uh, from here where we are outside the uh, mortuary to uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi's home which is 10 kilometers away um, at the Kwapindangene residence in the Matlabatini village. So what they've decided to do, and also considering that it does look like it's going to be quite a scorcher of a day, temperatures up in the uh, in the high 30s. So Amabuto are going to be divided into two. The first group, Amabuto, uh, will be allowed inside the um, um, with the family, where uh, religious leaders will also be present. Um, there will then be rituals, of course, that we will not be uh, permitted uh, uh, to, 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 um, to follow. Um, thereafter, Amabuto will then take Prince Mangosu to Tenezi out, accompany uh, the body to at least three or so kilometers. Um, and thereafter, there'll be a second group of, of Amabutu that will meet the first group. And um, in groups, then they will then uh, co um, accompany the body until it reaches uh, Kwa Pindangen. And then outside the family home as well, Amabutu under the Butelezi clan will then outside the home with the elders of the royal family and the elders within the clan will then 
then receive the body outside the family home. Again, rituals be, will be performed there and then his uh, body will then enter um, his home. And that was likely in the, uh, sometime in this, uh, in the afternoon, but it all has to happen before the uh, sun sets. Also, of course, you're understanding what a mammoth uh, task uh, this is for everybody that is involved um, as well. Uh, we've heard on the side of security land as well as um, the update that we got from the IFP. There is going to be a heavy uh, police uh, presence uh, here. Um, police will also be a part of the um, uh, 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 ensuring security along the route and then also very importantly we understand that scores of community members will be lining the roads from here all the way to Guapindangen Gwa forming a guard of Anna. In short that is what we expected today Leanne but our journalists will be on the ground from the morning up until we get to Guapindangen this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Ayanda, thank you. Thank you very much. I know it's, a, it's going to be a long few days for you and the team. It certainly is, but we appreciate so much the, uh, the coverage and certainly the whole tradition that falls alongside this burial. So uh, Ayanda Mplongo and the team in KZN keeping a very, very close eye. And remember that SABC News is going to give you rolling coverage of, this, uh, of this, uh, the, the funeral and the lead up to it. So please do stay tuned to us.